run over there, and then you go, what's the number? Right. <laughs> right. Because like, you don't hear it. <laughs> so you could make, you could say six fizz, right? Three fizz yeah. if you wanted to get them used to it. And then at run class competitions. I'm going to time you to see how long it takes you to get from one to 50. And then if they, as they continually practice, it just becomes more... We, Sarah, and then I know you're dying to say something. Okay. So if you have like two minutes left in class, I don't care what class you take. I, re, I have my kids sit on their desks, and we play, and I give them whatever multiples or primes or squares, and they count, 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 and it's really great. They're almost all engaged, and they're very good about helping each other. You so play this game? I call it pop. Oh, okay. I just do put this game. But it's they have to sit yeah. on their desk? Uh -huh. Sit on the desk, and then if they get out, they have to sit, sit on. down. Okay. Yeah, but the first like couple of rounds, I'm like, it's okay. Just sit on the desk. <laughs> it's hard. Well, that's something you definitely have to. Like, do you care if people go? That's a fizz. That's a buzz. You know, have that conversation with your students before. We were doing it to help out each other, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And tone and intent has a lot to do with that. How you build your class culture. Evan. I mean, for the students in your class that you think they need more time to uh, process, I would suggest that uh, tell them to go ahead and count ahead. Like for example, if a number goes to that lady there at 20, then I can uh, go ahead and count 21, 32, 33, 34, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I, I am 30, so I have more time to process to figure out what words uh, do I say. So it's not have to. Some of the kids may be more like visual, just need like a chart. Maybe the 1 to 100 chart, just to look at it, just mm -hmm. to see the number, because maybe it's easier visually than just trying to hear. Mm -hmm. Not that you have it filled out, but it's just 1 to 100. Sure. I think saying chat is really important. So to tell them that, do not tell them the answer. Do not say that to them until you count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Then, if you can, because otherwise you take away that think time from the person, and they're the ones who need it. That you know aren't at automaticity. So. Or create a sign that right. says, okay, help me. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Because then it's a Because I just think if you take away that think time, then it defeats the purpose of what you're trying to do. This is the point. You can see how fast we are. One, two, three, and then it. Uh, <laughs> and then it good. Any final? No, I, I was going to encourage us to do what just happened. Great. <laughs> See, we are high cognitive people here. Great. All right. Uh, thunder clap. No, power clap on three. Oh, one, two, three. And then you do two claps. We already. Oh, oh, oh you do two? I do two. It's like okay. shooting one. <laughs> I'm doing it to this kid method. Go. Oh, so I say power clap on three. One, two, three. And then. Look at We did it. Done.